Jim Townsville here. Will this water pick shower massager meet all the promises that it says it will? Let's find out, shall we? I just finished my first shower with this, and this is an amazing, 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 amazing device. First one. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. Sixth one. And the seventh one. This is the water pick. Just to have two times the massage force clinically shown to help soothe muscle tension, increase flexibility, and promote restful sleep. That's a lot of promises. So it's supposed to be powerful power pulse, therapeutic strength massage, lifetime limited warranty, seven sprays, installs in minutes. We'll see about that. Supposed to install in minutes, no pipe tape needed, anti clog nozzles. Dislodge mineral deposits by rubbing the nozzles. Handheld with five foot flexible hose. Uh, the seven sprays are power pulse, power pulse massage, power pulse massage, power spray, full body, power spray, echo spray, water saving trickle. Oh, I'm not doing that. I guess you can cut it down to that while you're conditioning your hair. God, my fingernails look bad. Uh, and it shows you the competitors versus the water pick. Here's the website. Check in the text below and I'll provide a link to get this exact product or one similar. It helps me out a little bit if you use that link for your shopping. Also check in the text in the comments below and I'll provide a link for the shower massager that I took down that I didn't care for. And I will tell you why in that video. We have the faucet. It's like plastic. Not too big. This slides very easily. Has kind of a rubbery top thing around the little jets. This is also plastic. And that is probably a water restrictor, which I will remove. And the hose, fairly flexible, hoping it'll loosen up a little bit. There's paper in both ends. There's a washer in both ends. Instruction manual. It says remove all the old pipe tape. Make sure the washer from the old shower is not connected to the shower pipe. Do not use your fingers. Gather the tools and install your new shower head. You'll probably need an adjustable wrench or pliers. Soft cloth. And it says pipe tape is not recommended. So the instructions are for the handheld shower to, there's the filter screen. That's what's in here. Then you have the pivot ball. Which is supposed to be this. It doesn't really want to move very well. Does not want to pivot. I'll have to work on that. It's supposed to move around so that you can adjust it easier than that. Oh, there it moves, but that is. Feels like it's going to break on plastic.
Then it has the bracket, which is what I was just holding. It's got the washer that's already installed into this. This is the other end that already has a washer in it, and that goes onto the handheld shower massager. So you don't have all these pieces separate like it's showing you. So it says to tighten the pivot ball to the shower pipe. Ensure the large nut is secured by hand tightening. Connect the ridge connector. That's going to be from your pipe to the hand bracket or to the bracket and hand tighten. Then you're going to put the other end with the washer in it, the rubber ring to the handheld shower head and hand tighten. Then you're going to place the handheld shower head in the bracket. Let's see if this is easily removed. It is, this is supposed to be a filter is what they're calling it, but it's actually going to restrict your water flow. So I'm taking this out. That also may restrict the water flow down in there, the red thingy, but I don't see a way to get that one out. I'm going to put this washer back in. I'm really concerned about this not moving freely. We'll go put it in and see. Let's remove the old one. I didn't have to use any tools to take the old one down, and I didn't need any tools to put the new one up. I did use a pair of rubber gloves to help me get some friction on that. The one I just removed did come with plumber's tape which I guess I'm going to have to remove to put this new one on. Okay, it says to attach the washer, the filter screen, the pivot ball, all those are already inside the bracket. I'm going to put that on top of, or screw that into the shower pipe first. It already has the washer down in there and the little filter screen in there, so this screws onto that. As you can see, I decided not to try to take the pipe tape off. Step one, the next step is to, we did that, I'm going to put the ridge connector, the hose to the bracket and hand tighten. I'm going to use the large end and put it on the bottom of that. So the pipe has two ends. One end has like the little ridges around it. The other one on mine is smooth. It tells you to connect the ridge connector to the bracket. So we have the ridge connector to the bracket on the faucet. We have our pipe coming down. Now we're ready to go to step three, connect the other end with the rubber ring to the handheld shower head and hand tighten. This is the other end that has the rubber ring. We're going to put it onto this part and hand tighten. All right, wish me luck. Let's see if this thing works and if it leaks. It does indeed work. I don't see any leaks. Spray patterns. Look at that. Ooh. 
right up on me. Pretty strong. More powerful than the one I just took off. Oh yeah. That's why I need to rinse my hair. Nice. Now let's see if it will go in the holder correctly. And it does. It's a little bit high, so I probably have to tilt it down a little bit. It's a handle on it's really, really long. Can't tilt it down too much because the pop is touching the wall right there. I'm assuming this is going to loosen up a little bit. But that's probably going to have to be the angle that I have it at um, because of, of it touching right there until it loosens up. Or maybe, or maybe it won't. It is in, not leaking. It's definitely stronger than the one I took out. Starting over. There's some leakage there on that one. Some leakage. A lot of leakage. Starting over. First one. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. I'm going to let it hang like this overnight, see if we can get some of the kinks out of the hose. And it's not difficult to put back into the container or the holder. And it swivels much more easily than I had expected. I think now that the pipe, the hose is let up a little bit. I can tilt it down a little bit more. So, no need to worry about that. I just finished my first shower with this, and this is an amazing, 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 amazing device. Instead of minutes for me to rinse the shampoo and the conditioner from my hair, it took literally seconds. It exceeds my expectations. Thanks for watching my video on the Water Peak Shower Massager. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share this video appropriate. Check out the text below this video, and I'll provide a link on how you can get this or one very, very close like it. Also, check in the comments below, and I'll provide that link as well. Thank you for watching. If you have time before you go, watch another video, and please give the video a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to my channel. Until we meet again, let's help each other stay clean and refreshed.